Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2019 as we are wrapping up the Houston trip. No. In fact, as we are recovering this, we are leaving Houston, heading back toward Louisiana, back toward New Orleans, our home. Mm -hmm. And we made a stop in Beaumont, Texas, right. just east of the city on the way out of town to visit the Haunted Hotel in downtown Beaumont. Yeah. And real talk here. <laughs> yeah. When we left the haunt, um, one of the first thoughts I had as we got back to the car was I knew there was going to be this moment where we had to sit here and do this review and talk about it, and I immediately started loathing exactly this moment. Yes. And the reason is I don't enjoy saying negative things about people's hard work, other haunters. I feel a kindred with horrors. I mean, haunters aren't. Right. And horrors, too. But well, haunters. Yeah. I feel a kindred with haunters. And so even the haunts that I didn't like, like we didn't like um, Creepy Hollow, we didn't like uh, Red Rum, but we tried to think of situations that could be useful. People right. that could be for. It's not exactly. every haunt's for us. I get yeah. that. And I'm okay with that. Not every haunt has to be made with me in mind. Right. And there are all different audiences, da-da-da-da. Fine. I get that. But the issues we have with this haunt center around fundamentals and safety. Yeah. And those are things that I just can't pass on recommendations to someone else. No. I can't say it wasn't for me, but if it's for you, th that doesn't work like that with these issues. Yeah, and remember that we had just gone to two haunts that left us in a pretty good mood yeah. when we got here. So, right off the bat, let's yeah. talk about parking. Yeah. Um, very interestingly, at this haunt, they have blocked off the entire block, so block yeah. the block, right. <laughs> that their haunt is in front of them. And the reason for that is they have a chainsaw scare at the end, and they are flushing people into the street. They don't want to be hit by traffic. And while I appreciate the sentiment, A, it's still not safe to be flushing right. people into the street, even without cars. And B, it meant that even though it was the deadest of dead nights, <clears throat> we had to park pretty significant distance away and walk in. Yeah, it was in an area of town that we don't know because we don't know Beaumont. Mm -hmm. um, and I did see where other people who are more familiar with the area found parking closer, but I had no idea how to get yeah. there. So that was that was a bit of an annoyance, to be honest, yeah. um, getting there. <clears throat> uh, tickets to the haunt are $24. We tried to buy tickets online before we went to A. They're cheaper online, which is good. Right. Exactly how it should be. But but the problem was it wasn't working. Yeah, it just crashed. It just kept crashing. So, and then when you get to the haunt, if you don't buy the tickets online, it is cash only. Right. Which is a major annoyance, especially when your ticket price is twenty four dollars, and that doesn't go neatly into any amount you can get from an ATM. And they did yeah. have an ATM on site. They did. Kudos for that. But the ATM wasn't working properly. We got money out of it fine. Right. But the group that came after us, um, it broke on them. Yep. So, so not they had idea. to, like, spend 20 minutes trying to get their tickets. Yeah, it, it was a rough ordeal. In fact, we didn't actually see that group again. No. Um, after we got our tickets and got in, quote-unquote, line, it really wasn't a line. There was only one group ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And the only reason we waited at all was that group refused to go in. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a phenomenon I've seen at our haunt, and I've seen it other places, too, mm -hmm. and it befuddles me, and I haven't figured out how to deal with it perfectly either. So uh, there, there's no points docked there. <laughs> yeah, there are ways to <laughs> design, but the, but not really for this haunt. No, the, the ones that usually work wouldn't yeah. work for here. Yeah, the the tricks we pull, for example, to right. reduce this issue, they can't. Yeah, um, because of the nature of their building. But the thing about it is, so we stood there and waited for about a good ten minutes or so while they tried to encourage this group to go in. Right. And rather than just saying, y'all go on in, we'll work on this group right. later, um, they just kept pushing and pushing and pushing, and it just kept not, not working. They eventually napped off. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't understand, but they probably paid $100 plus for tickets yeah. and then napped off. Yeah. And I, I don't get that I, at I all. get it. It's confusing. I don't want to be yeah. mean about that because that's a weird situation even to me. There, but, because it starts off with stairs, and they couldn't make it up the stairs. And not that, like I said, these are not scares with, sit, with stairs with scares. Yes. I'm going to trip over all my lines today. Just, yeah. just complete the set. Um, okay. But no, it's... So, yeah, we finally got to go in, went up the stairs, and the very first room was like a registration check-in booth. Right. Um, and you could tell that they, this was a mental asylum was the first portion of it. Mm -hmm. over. Uh, uh, yeah, it was called Rise something. It wasn't called Risewell. That's the no, Ride... 
ride something? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Anyway. It's an asylum thing, which kind of threw us for a loop. Yeah. Because we didn't realize we were going into an asylum. We thought it was the Hollywood Hotel. Exactly. Um, but nonetheless, we saw the check-in area. And the very first actor comes out. Crystal happened to be in the front at this particular. Mm -hmm. We oftentimes just flip as yeah. we go through a vault. So you never know which one of us is first. No. Um, but she was in first this time. Actor comes, gets aggressive with her, and starts pushing her sort of to the right. I slide to the left, mm -hmm. sort of like, okay, y'all have your fun, you know. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way now. And immediately hit my knee on a stool that was bolted to the ground at one of like the little kiosks for registration. Banged it pretty good. I was limping for a little bit. Yeah. No permanent damage. I'm fine now, but it hurt. <laughs> yeah. The other thing, the actress in that room was dressed as a nurse, mm -hmm. as you should be, as an intake nurse. That makes sense. However, an intake nurse saying, come play with me, does not make sense. No. <clears throat> at all. No, I, I didn't understand that either. No. <clears throat> no. So, go ahead. So, yeah, I mean, most of the haunt itself was fine. Yeah. I, I, I don't have many strong memories of it because, unfortunately, there's so many very powerful negative things we pulled away from it. Right. That I can't really comment much on it. So other than the stool that you mentioned mm -hmm. that you made your knee on and the pole that was holding a door open. Yeah, I don't really understand this one. There, there was a like a, a, a metal grating for a door yeah. that they had permanently put open, which, okay, got to yeah. do this in Nums and Haunts. I get that. They chose to make this 45-degree angle right. to the floor, but it went out into the walking path rather than away from it. Yeah. And so the result was, if you hadn't pointed out, Eagle Eye Crystal here spotted it, right. I might have hit my other knee. You definitely would have tripped. I definitely would have tripped. Because, because you have this thing where you don't look down a lot when you yeah. walk. <laughs> so. No, I do not. And, and the thing is this, we are among the most calm people going through a haunted house. Right. We are extremely calm. Yeah. And if we have this, these issues, I can only imagine what people who are running scared are doing. Yeah, no kidding. Um, the other thing, though, that I do want to say a positive is that the rooms were well decorated. Yes, I'll, I'll Outside of the two hazards that we just mentioned, plus the chainsaw at the end. Yeah. Um, so the three hazards that we've mentioned, it was well decorated. Yeah. They, they definitely have put a lot of care and love into the decoration yeah. of the room. And some of the rooms had some really good scare tactics, too. I did see some right. good scare design happening in some of the rooms. Yes, and in the asylum, mm -hmm. the doctor was my favorite character. One of my favorite characters on any of yeah. the trip. Yeah. Because he was upside down on a pole and like one of the IV bag poles. I'm not sure exactly how he got there, but between that and the bed and upside down and then turned around and did creepy stuff and it was cool. It was. That was my most memorable other than what I'm sure we're getting to. Yeah, and unfortunately what we're getting to is also in the elsewhere in the asylum. No, it's it's in the haunted hotel. No, it was in the upstairs portion, wasn't it? No, it's in the Hold and Tell Tell because it didn't fit. They should have been in the other side. Okay, okay, that's fair enough because I just assumed because of what no. the nature of the room, it was a uh, like a uh, autopsy type room yeah. know, or doctor's office slash autopsy yeah. type room. Um, we, w we walk in and from about two rooms away, we can see into it. Yeah. And we realize two actors are standing in the room just playing on their phone looking yeah. at photos and videos. Yeah, and laughing their asses off. And completely out of pocket. Yeah. We walk in there, and they're more scared to see us than we are of them. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, there is an actor in the room right before you get to them. Yeah. And he made a little bit of noise. Yeah. So they should have known that we were coming into this room. Well, the girl breaks off and goes somewhere else. I think she realized she goofed and whatever she was going to do. Yeah, we were just, like, passing by them. And, you know, they didn't even look up from their phone then. So I said, hi. And they were like, Go ahead, say yeah. the line. And, and the guy proceeds to sort of stalk us. And yeah. He's acting very angry at us. Yeah. And he said, you know, basically he's like, if we known you were coming, it would have been scarier. How is that my problem? Yeah, how's that my fault? And he said, well, y'all don't look like you're very entertained anyway. You haven't given us anything to be entertained about. Literally... I've been now to, I think we have been to over 150 haunted house trips together yeah. easily. Yeah. I think that was easily the worst interaction I've had with an actor ever. Yeah. 
Definitely. I've called actors out of pocket. I've called yeah. actors on their cell phones. I've called actors in horribly compromising positions before. Yeah. And here's the thing. In a big enough haunt, it's going to happen. They were, they were scared in the group before. They didn't get back to place in time. It happens. Even yeah. the best actors have that happen to them. Yeah. And the best laid haunts. <laughs> Less laid, best laid plans sometimes yeah. go to waste. It happens. Happened at the 13th Gate this year. We called a few people way out of pocket. Right. It happens. Biggest, baddest, bestest haunts. It happens. Mm -hmm. But that was not the correct response to it. That was no. nowhere near the correct response. No. And honestly, that, and that's the thing is, like you said, there was a fair amount of good in there. Yeah. But when we left there, that moment and the two safety issues were all we could talk about. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. It was all we could focus on and it really ruined the experience. And once again, it's like the roller coaster of our mood over this trip just yeah, right back down. Exactly. It was... <sighs> It, and I mean, it felt like a big place. Yeah. And I think some of the design flaws caused it to have a shorter walkthrough because we were taking our time. Yeah, we were taking our time. It was I only mean, 10 minutes long. Yeah, exactly. We were taking well, our time. It was 10 minutes long. But they have enough space that they could position things in such a way and, to, to make it longer. And I think that autopsy room or doctor's office room, whatever it was, is a good example of the problem. Yeah. Because we, as the customers, merely walk straight through one door to the next door. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, there's this whole room, especially to the left-hand side, of, from our perspective, left-hand side, where there, it's well-decorated, it's yeah. pretty, um, but we don't get anywhere near it. What they could have done is taken the gurney and the props and shoved it in our path and forced us to go around and right. probably gotten triple the time out of that room. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Very yeah. simple changes like that. Yeah. But honestly, and the thing that killed me was we got out of the haunt. And the very first thought I had before we got to the car was after mm -hmm. the car, I started <laughs> thinking this review was going right. to be rough. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it is. It was every bit as rough as I feared. Yeah. Um, first thought was, wow, this must be a very new haunt. Yeah. Because this is a lot of fundamentals. Um, and the reason is because the only information we had was like from one of the, 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 t the website that had the tickets, which mm -hmm. has very little. I yeah. found out elsewhere that this haunt has been going on for 36 years and has had this iteration of it for three. Yeah. You know, issues of not putting trip hazards in walking paths, mm -hmm. issues of letting actors know on slower nights when people are in the haunt. Right. These are problems most haunts solve very, very quickly. Yeah. Like, I, I remember when one it's of the It's either haunts, solved or it's not open yeah. very long. <laughs> Like one of the haunts we worked in, we used the animatronics. We were in the backside. Mm -hmm. If we heard that goddamn electric chair going off. <laughs> shake and bake. Shake and bake, man. <laughs> shake and bake. We knew, okay, there, there's people in the haunt and they're about three rooms that away. Right. Get in pocket. Exactly. So you've got to find cues. You've got, and they don't have a lot of animatronics in I don't think they had any. No. They're very much, you know. A, a, so they've got to have actors who are louder. Yeah, they've got to have thing, noise cues in there. And I get it. It was a oh. slow night. I forgot. So after this, the actor that we had the bad interaction yeah. um, followed us down a hallway. We get into a room, and I see where to go. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, no, that's not the way. And I'm like, there's a hallway right there. It's behind the guy standing yeah, in the doorway. Do, they're trying to do the doors. You have to pick yeah. a door. Yeah, the, that's, that's the way to go. And they're like, no, no, you got to go over there. So we go over there, and we see that there's not a way to go. And then the guy turns on the light in the hallway that I'd already seen. <laughs> so we start going down it, and Jonathan apparently steps on his foot because they've turned the lights back off. Yeah. And in this haunt, they use almost exclusively teen actors. Yeah. At least it feels that way. Yeah. They, they seem very green. And teen actors, like I said, there's positives and negatives to using young actors. Yeah. Positive is you get the energy, you get the enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. The bad is you don't have that maturity and you don't always have that capability of thinking on their feet when stuff goes sideways. Right. Exactly. That's where the experience kicks in. Yeah. Um, so there's good and there's bad there. It's it's rough. Mm -hmm. And I understand, especially in a lot of areas, teen actors are what's mostly available. We have a lot of teens in our haunt. But no. we always try to pair them, when, when we do have them, we try to pair them with a more experienced older actor. Right. Um, so, yeah, the, the end result was, I, I get that this is a beloved haunt. I get that this is a staple of Beaumont. Yeah. And I think that it might be a charity haunt. Yeah. It, it felt like it, it yeah. should be a charity haunt, but I'm not sure because the there's information so little, There's so is, little information. It's yeah. weird. 
But the people outside were wearing matching shirts. Yeah. At least a few of them, so. Yeah, and that's just one of the other problems, is there's not a lot of very good information that we were able to get mm -hmm. as outsiders. Right. I get people who live in Beaumont probably know all this. Exactly. I mean, we're, we're coming into this as New Orleanians who can all, who basically all we get is enough time for a quick check of the internet and maybe their social media, and that's it. Exactly. And Google search. What's in the area? What's in the area? Okay, go There's to the website. Called, you know, <laughs> yeah. on a hotel, we're going to go to it. It's on the route, and it seems to have decent reviews. We're, we're, we're going. Yeah. Well, we didn't, then from there on, we need to know the address and the cost and if they take credit card. That's it. Yep. Um, so, yeah. I, I, and, but even after doing additional research and looking into it after the fact, mm -hmm. that, that experience, as much as it made us depressed, yeah. left me befuddled. Yeah. I think yeah, it, did. it really left me confused because, mm -hmm. like I said, it was making mistakes that I had assumed no haunt older than a year or two would make. Yeah, I know. So it was it was very, very bizarre. I really hope they can get um, these problems solved. I hope they can solve the issue of letting actors know and get rid of these trip hazards. And the reason I say that is because there's clearly a lot of good energy put into this haunt. Yeah. And I mean that from both the actors, other than the yeah. one we mentioned, from the actors and from the set designers. Right. And I will say that the other groups who went through that did make more noise did seem to have fun and were scared inside. Mm -hmm. So it might just be us that had this, other than the trip hazards, yeah. Yeah, that we, had this experience. We are particular. we're not... We're quiet, basically. Yeah. When it comes down to, we're quiet. We'll just say it. We're quiet. Yeah. We don't scream. Even when we get God, we're not big screamers or fall no. on the floor people or anything like that. Um, we're quiet. Mm -hmm. um, even when we get God, like I said, and we do get God. We get mm -hmm. God good sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't really emote that much. But yeah, and I get that that's frustrating, and I get that it creates problems, but. You know, finding ways to let actors know someone's in the haunt and roughly where they are, especially in a bigger haunt like this, yeah. is crucial. Mm -hmm. So, all in all, it's like I said, there's a haunt with a lot of energy and a lot of passion, but mm -hmm. it's failing on some fundamentals, and I think if they can sort that out, there's something really good there. Yeah. I, I'd love to see this energy put toward a really good haunt, which I think it could be. Yeah. It's just this experience, this time around, in 2019, on that... Sunday night, yeah. October 13th, was really, really rough. And, yeah, that, that and the safety issues alone are reason enough for me to not say it's recommended for anyone until they correct them. Okay. That everything? That's everything. Well, until next time, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Hour Haunt Review 2019 for the Haunted Hotel in Beaumont, Texas. We will see you guys next time.